Hello. Hello. Welcome to Two Tangled Skeins. I'm Sue, also known as Crafty Knitter 7. Today is November 12th, and we are episode 181. Good I like Lord. I know. <laughs> I'd like to welcome back those who've been here before, and if you're new, we're glad you joined the party. I'm Lynn, also known as Toll Baby. You can find us on Ravelry, Facebook, our blog at twotangleskeins.com, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Mm-hmm. Everywhere. You may not. You may notice that you know. Clearly, Selma's not here. Well, yeah, <laughs> no. Unless she'd be like squished. Sorry, I guess I should have taken my stuff out first. Yeah, she kept going. You ready? You ready? You ready? That's just like her saying, you know, you can show up any time now, half an hour before I normally show up. And then she was like, yeah, but you didn't come. Well, you didn't have pants on when I got here, so no, you didn't reply. And then you pulled up and I went, oh, I need clothes. You didn't have pants on. Half an hour later. I had shorts on. My sleeping shorts. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I didn't see any shorts. I saw no evidence of this. I saw bare leg flash down the hallway. That was about it. Very white bare leg. Yeah, last night, Rob and I were taking a walk after dark. And, uh, because we talk on the phone while we walk. Mm-hmm. And, um... It was kind of funny because I was I was walking down Pink Road, which doesn't have sidewalks or lights. Are you insane? And, and I said it's okay because I was wearing those capri uh, leggings, and You'll I was like, your... my my pasty white legs are the, all the reflector I need. <laughs> why would you walk down? I know what pink where Pink Road is. Yeah, yeah it's why? like four blocks from my house. I know, but no lights. Yeah, well, it wasn't the wisest idea I ever had, but I wanted to try a different route. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I put it up earlier and I was just like, eh, I don't care. Go. Oh, I'm debating. Nah. De I'll debating the next what? row. It has to do with the pattern I'm doing. Okay. Which I can't talk about just yet. Eh. Talk about it when it's whips time. Uh huh. And it's not whips time yet, because I have a bow! Yes, yes, she does. I have a bow, I have a bow. Of course, I should have thought of that before I started this row, so you have to wait a second. <laughs> all, so, all, all you need to know is it's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Remembrance Day was yesterday, yes. and it was also Veterans Day. Veterans Day in the United States. Yeah, and so, you know, if you are serving your country, we would like to thank you. Because that makes you pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. So, now that I've finished my row. She can show you as a photo. See, when you sent me the show notes, I was like, okay, either she's finished it or it's gonna be finished. No, I had finished it. Okay. I had woven in the ends. It was done. But you... Yep. You had half an arm yesterday on one arm. Yep. Would you watch? Nothing. I was, um, PK ending with Vandy. Nice. Thanks, Vandy. <laughs> so... You may recognize this pattern. <laughs> Number two. Because I made this one two weeks ago. <laughs> so... Are you done with that pattern now? I, I'm kind of done with this pattern now. <laughs> uh, I may go back to it for the next little person who comes along, but uh, for now I'm kind of done with it. So this again was the sweet baby sweater. I, it still needs blocking, clearly. Mm -hmm. And I did... I bought buttons. They will go on at some point. And I bought buttons for the other one, too. So they will both be finished today with buttons. Um, it is the Sweet Baby Sweater by... Good question. Carolyn Weens out of Seattle Sky Dye Works Miss Mated in Grunge, which is this blue denim -y, uh tonal. And Dale Garn Eco Baby Wool in Sand. So this that's that bottom part and the button bands. Both yarns were so awesome to knit with. I love both of them. I have this silk stuff, I've got to get more of. The Miss Mated is a silken wool base. So sweet. It was just the look on her face when she was winding the ball. <gasps> this is, oh, this has silk. So whoever's getting the baby sweater. This is Magic Phillips. Well. This baby will be warm. Because it's silk and wool. And I really did enjoy knitting this pattern. Um, it's just when you get down to the bottom part, it's sort of a black hole of knitting, and I probably should have made it a little bit longer, but it's fine. Babies are little people. 
Um, <laughs> and this was done on 3.25 millimeters, which is a US 3. So that's my bow. I'm so proud. Mm -hmm. I finished the thing. So cute. You need to try and, I guess the camera's not close enough for you to show the Oh, stuff. yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, because what, what you do is when you change colors, that's when you join in the round. And then the next row you separate off for the sleeves. And you're supposed to do the bottom of the sleeves in the same color as the bottom of the sweater. But I ran out of yarn <laughs> on both. I, I wouldn't have had enough yarn with one skein to do that. Because I had this and an equivalent ball the same size left after I did the bottom. So I decided to go with the top the variegated color as the sleeve. I like and it. you get this one little band of gray of beige around the, the sleeve, which I kind of like because it's sort of it's a design element. I like it. Mm -hmm. It was done on purpose. So because otherwise I could have just kept going and done the first round in the variegated color. I didn't have to switch colors for that. Um, but I, I very much like it. You start it flat at the top and you just go back and forth until you get to the measurement you're supposed to have, the number of increases you're supposed to have for the, um, the raglan sleeves. And then you switch colors. And I mean, I could, I think I could do this sweater in my sleep now. <laughs> it's a very simple pattern. It's a freebie and it's a very, very well written pattern, very well designed. And I really liked it. So now I have two little birds and sweaters. Mm -hmm. I remember she was like, I'm going to knit that one again halfway through and I'm done. Well, it's just because when you get to the bottom, you're, you're, you're really, it's boring. Black hole. Anything that's straight stock in it forever is boring after a while. So mm -hmm. I just plowed through it watching several episodes of Little House on the Prairie. Because, yes, I'm that nerd. <laughs> I've been rewatching the entire series. It's kind of helping her keep calm. It is, because you know what? What they talked about in that, I, yes, it was very churchy, and as a non-churchy person, it, I didn't it's realize a little too churchy that for I me. A, I didn't realize that as a kid. Me either. <laughs> I really didn't. But, I mean, to be fair, back then, that was, the church was the center of the exactly. town. It was the center of the community, not the just families the, of the, everything. the religion. So, you know, it's, it's period appropriate. Um, and although I find it a little too preachy sometimes, I've been forcing myself to go back and watch more and more and more of it because, as you all know, um, and we're not going to get political here, but nope. uh, there has been some violence and civil unrest and unpleasantness. Mm -hmm. And just this morning in Ottawa somebody spray painted a swastika and the letters KKK on the side of an elementary school. Because that's cool. In Canada. And it's not right. The more I watch this show, which is all about treating other people fairly and treating other people with respect and dignity and being a good person, it sort of restores my faith in humanity a little bit to go watch that for a little while. It's an escape. All I can say, and I mean, I have not been quiet about my political views on Facebook. All I can say is be gentle with each other, please. Mm -hmm. Do not gloat. Do not... Don't hate each other. It's painful. It's... I have friends who are afraid to leave their homes right now, and mm -hmm. it... Don't. Uh, there's a movement going on Facebook. Well, not just Facebook, but there's a movement that has started where people are wearing safety pins. Yeah, I saw that. And wearing the safety pin indicates that you are a safe person. That that anybody who feels as though they're being they can go to you. assaulted or attacked or whatever, if they don't feel safe, they can come and be with you. They can come and stand with you to feel safer. They can come and talk to you. Uh, don't wear it unless you're willing to do that. Because mm -hmm. I've seen all kinds of people going... I got my safety pin on. And then if somebody approaches them, they're like, <laughs> no, be willing to do that. If you're going to wear it. Um, it's an amazing sentiment and I'm really glad to see so many people embracing it. Please be gentle with each other. <laughs> yes. That's all I'm going to say. So anyway, back to knitting. 
<laughs> now that I totally derailed the podcast. As you do. I do. A lot. <laughs> and that's been confirmed by Rob. What you working on? I'm working on the Alm Shawl. Are you mid-row? Uh, yes. Would you like me to let you finish your row? No. Okay. I can okay. still show Sister. it. I, I get to knit. show what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is the Alm Shawl by Drea Renee Knits. And it's knit out of Pas Pasic. <sighs> Patton's classic wool in black, dark gray, Aran, and Mercury on six millimeter needles. And I will show you the photo. So that's what it looks like. And I've seen it worn by two of my friends and it's really beautiful and this is for my daughter. So I got past the color work as you know from last week and there is a stitch marker to show where I was. And if we get this closer you can see, yeah, there are garter ridges. So every fourth row you're doing something. And yeah, this is the, this is my black hole, literally, because I have to do 25 repeats of a four row pattern. That's not a black hole. You're seeing measurable progress every four rows. Yeah, but still, it's still like, oh, I've only got this much done. And my concern right now is when you hold it up, the color work pulls in. You can't really see it if it's not. Yeah, you can see it if I do it That'll sideways. Block it, so. so I'm hoping that will block out because it just stretching it's not doing it. It'll block out. Um, the fact so. that you can stretch it out means it'll block out. Okay. Uh, I've never done color work before, so hmm. look at me. And so I'm going to do that. I'm hopeful. I'm, I'm really going to be not monogamous, but my next on the Your needle. Your priority. This is my priority. <laughs> and yeah, I'll be lugging it back and forth to work because lunch hour is an hour and I can get quite a bit done with worsted weight yarn. And I'll have another project that if I need a little palette cleanser, I can just kind of whoosh over to that one. So, yep, this is for my daughter. And Selma says she loves the colors. And as I probably mentioned in another episode, my daughter wanted it all black. And I said, that's not going to happen unless you knit it yourself. So I figured I would go with a little pop of white, some grays, and black, and that would work out well. It is really pretty. <laughs> and I mean, I... I... I said something when we were all at Crystal's, and I, I, I probably I did not word it correctly. I was like, I don't understand how anybody could want to knit that. That's not what I meant. <laughs> what did you mean? Because I kind of saw Holly go, ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. Sorry, That's Holly. totally not what I meant. I can totally understand how other people might like to knit it. You won't. The idea of knitting it does not appeal to me. But yes. they are gorgeous shawls. I've loved See, I, every single one I've seen, but I will never knit that. <laughs> yeah, whenever I was choosing the colors and Holly was choosing her colors, she did a draft, uh, a sketch for me. Yeah. Because, of course, you know, green, right? But it's now that I you. see this, I want this one. It's not for you. I know that. But <clears throat> mine is going to be green. I made two swap, two okay. Uh, sketches. Okay. Um, And so, you know, it may have to be borrowed from time and time again well that's okay she borrows your clothes uh yes and i borrow hers now without even blinking an eye oh, sorry my other project oh and that is being housed in a two skeiner bag by little creek designs who is selma and those are bees because no bugs they bees. are bees because my hubby is an entomologist who studied in bees. And her her daughter up. actually went, Mom, why do you have a bag with bugs all over it? And she was standing at the door and, you know, no glasses. The other project I'm knitting is a barn raising square. And funny thing, I started it last week or this week. Oh, I don't know. I started it after the last podcast. Or I had it. No, I had it on the needles in the last podcast. It was pink. I don't know. It was pink. It was, it was Mad Tosh light. Um, but it was a five gram skein. I still don't know how you couldn't possibly couldn't tell. <laughs> I never said it. I just like, hmm, I like it. It's pretty. Let's go. Yeah, it's, that's not going to work because you need a 20 gram skein for the barn raising square. And that is by Shelly Mackey and a Larissa Brown. And it's on 2.75 millimeters, which is a US 2. And I'm trying some new needles that I got. Oh, I don't even have the package that I got from Stephanie from Stitchcraft Marketing. They're Knitter's Pride and they're square and they're wooden. So, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the sparkle. 
No. So that's that. And maybe I can show you the sparkle in the actual skein. It's not. Oh, it's showing up a little bit. A little bit. So it's not as sparkly as Selma's shawl yesterday. But it's or, like you can literally day. pull the tinsel out. Hmm. Well done. I love that. <laughs> and that's that's it. I'm not knitting on anything else. The next thing on my needles is going to be a swatch. And sorry, I'm looking for the other needle. Um, the next thing is going to be a swatch for Sean's sweater, and that's um, the gray yarn that I bought at Stitches, and it's the Lumberjack sweater. And what bag is that in? Oh, this is in one of my little knot bags. It was supposed to go to the shop, but mm, that didn't too happen. Too cute. It was too cute. So it's the um, wee knot bag. I had to keep it. With the hedgehogs and I the know. squirrels and, and the, the brown interior was just so cute. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm looking for... Oh, there we go. Because I don't want to snap a needle. It was between my legs. I know. So, and I mean, this can fit a, a sock project in it. But I mean, I think it's perfect to throw in your purse. And so I can throw this in my purse with the bigger project and it's not going to be a big deal. So what are you knitting on? Oh. Two seconds. One. Two. Two. Done. <laughs> Literally two <laughs> seconds. Well, I wouldn't have said that if I had more than one stitch going. Um, this is a test knit that I'm doing for Eat My Yarns, who is our lovely friend Brandy. Do you want to give me a sock blocker? Or are they? Oh, no. They're put away? Yeah. All right, never mind. Sorry. I should have planned ahead. <laughs> so this is a test knit that I'm doing for Brandy. Um, the, it is called the Running Through Socks. She is Eat My Yarns on Ravelry and Instagram. And it's this lovely pattern done for, um, the version I'm doing is the striped yarn uh, version. Mandy is test knitting the variegated yarn version. Uh, there's two different stitch patterns for the same, uh, the same sock. So um, I'm very much enjoying this test knit. I'm almost on my first sock because I don't know how much taller I'm going to make it. Probably another couple of inches. But uh, so next week this will be a hoe. And this is done out of lollipop. <laughs> I finally knit with some lollipop. I had what? Eight she's bought a bunch. She's given away. I had away. eight balls in my stash. I gave three away. She's given some away. She's given some for prizes. <laughs> Yeah, I gave one as a prize, one to you, and one to Mandy. Yeah. And I'm finally using some myself, and I'm really enjoying knitting with it. I love the stripe pattern. Actually, I got two from you. Did you? I got Blarney, and then you gave me another one. I don't remember that, but anyway. Um, so, and I decided that to preserve the, um, the stripes, sorry, uh, I would use a contrast color for the heel, so I actually went to Michael's and bought loops and thread wool like, and I kind of wish I hadn't. <laughs> I had to cut off a long stretch. You didn't have anything in your... Nothing solid colored that would go with this. You should have asked me, because I could have given you a 20 gram. But anyway. So, because I wanted something fairly neutral and solid. Not variegated, not tonal, solid. Mm -hmm. So, um, I had to cut off this long piece because there was a knot. And I'm like, do, 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 knitting away. Boom. Another knot. Yeah, that was, that, that was my experience with when I first started making those owls, I was using one of their yarns and I did not like it at all. All the other loops and thread stuff I've knit with, I've really liked. And this is super soft too. I mean, this is an acrylic nylon yarn. It's 100% synthetic. So soft. But naughty. And not naughty. I don't know if the rest of the skate, because I used maybe 20 grams out of a... Not 20 grams. 20 yards out of a 600 and some odd yard ball. So who knows if it's going to continue. You did give me two. Oh. Sorry. I had to check. That was silly of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Interruption, you know me. I'm and like, it's no, very no. close to the Night Owl Fibers yarn I bought, and I'm kind of kicking myself for not using that. Because I have a very similar colorway from Night Owl Fibers that's got brown in it. Sherlock? No, oh, it's no. the Pumpkin Patch one. Oh, right. I love it. 
But it's it's being saved. Oh, you and I got pumpkin patch, and yeah. she got Sherlock. I got Selma Sherlock got... as well. I got both. Right. And Selma got I'm Sherlock. Crazy. And I have to stop buying urine because holy crap. Uh, <laughs> and that's being done on 2.5 millimeter needles, which is US one and a half. And Brandy, let's practice. <laughs> and you like short... And it's my first time doing toe up slots. So kind of awesome. That's love right there. Because I wouldn't but do toe up like slots it? for just anybody, Brandy. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. It took me a really long time to get the hang of the Judy's Magic cast Figure on. Eight. Yeah. And I, fu well, I could do it, but I couldn't knit into it afterwards. Okay, because I was going to say you did it for me for the longest time. I have no problems doing the cast on. And when I was doing my hexy puffs, I was doing Judy's Magic cast on every single time. And I didn't have any problem with it. But now, for some reason, my brain is just like, mm, no. So what I did was I used larger needles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used a size three? Two. two. Oh, two. Um, I think it's a size two. Two millimeter? No. No, sorry. No, that's not a 2.75 mil two, is Two it? millimeters is a 2.75 is a two. Yeah, so I used a two and a half or a three. I used the same needles that I used for the... That was 3.25 is US 3, because it was the green needles. Oh, okay. So um, I, I cast on with a bigger needle and then knit into it, and then it worked. So if you're having trouble with it, that's a good tip. Um, so that's the first thing I'm working on. I do not have a project bag for this yet because for some reason, every time I'm knitting on it, I'm looking around and there are no project bags right where I'm sitting so I don't get up and go get one and I don't know what's going on in my head. I, I have a solution for that, but I'll tell you. I have like 15 project bags right behind where I sit. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't, I, know, I won't I have, give you a solution. No, I have project bags. I just have to get up and grab one. I even have project bags I've never used. Get on that, woman. Okay. And because, for some reason, when I finished knitting the blanket, I became obsessed with socks. Blanket. The blanket? Blanket. What the blanket? Big, oh, the big story. I'm like, blanket. What blanket? It is the only <laughs> thing I talked about for six months. <laughs> oh, and the uh, the sock was being held in my, my lovely flannel ninjas from Slip Stitch Studios because I was using super long needles, but now Sue gave me short ones, so I'm going to have to find another needle keeper. I can help See, you with that. You you screw you, you completely did I not messed me up because did, I was using my ninjas. Did I not make um one of the fox ones like you see on my desk for you? Yeah. I think I know where it is. No. Would you like mine? Because it's on Rob's socks. Okay. Which are god knows where. I'll lend you mine. Anyway. So because I got obsessed with socks, I am now currently knitting two pairs of socks. <laughs> what? I didn't even say anything that time. No, it's because you're knitting two pairs of socks. I did that to her yesterday, but it was because I said something inappropriate. Yes, and, you know, she helped me skein up my yarn yesterday because I was having a... Hmm. Yeah. Now, you guys saw this last time it was this big. I had done the leg and nothing else, so now I have added the heel and turned it. Oh, right, it's those socks. I'm like, I don't yes. recognize that. It is my green hornet socks. The Top down. The pattern is called the Hornet by Heatherly Walker. Uh, it is a pattern that someone gifted me for my birthday. And the top of the sock is the same as the heel. So I'm just going to be doing a whole bunch of that now. And I put it on hold because I wanted to do the test knit for Brandy, which had a deadline, and these do not. So um, oh, Those are your uh, Knitter's Pride needles. Well, yeah. That's where that pair went. Okay. I just mentioned I it told yet. her all my all my needles are in all my 2.5s are in use which is why she's got these now she's like no I'll be fine well, I'm I was, like I was using eight inch needles <laughs> I'll be fine it's okay I'm like no I'm fixing this problem now yeah doesn't matter well yeah but now I can't use my ninjas you can still use your ninjas so cares well. how big it is anyway so that's the other sock I'm using mm. uh, this is nitpicks stroll tonal. It's a lovely, lovely tonal that you can't quite Do you know see. the colorway? Yes, it's springtime tonal. Right, I don't have that one. Nope. You keep saying it's the I same know. one I have. I no, have it's a, not. <laughs> I have a green. And that is... I'm not sure what happened to the needle keeper that I had with this, because I have one. That matches. Yeah. It's in here. <laughs> Silly woman. I was looking all <laughs> over for it, and I couldn't find it, so I was using a Mandy one. So now I can put that in my... The Mandy one, and I can put this one in the end of Green Gables one that Moira sent us, because I was looking all over for this thing, and it was in the bag. Look where it was. Shush. We'll pretend I'm organized. So, 
that is living in the bag that the lovely Moira, of which podcast is it again? Knitting and Stitches. I'm Knitting and Stitches. Don't be offended, Moira. She doesn't watch many podcasts. I'm sorry, but it's so pretty. Look at this. I love this bag. Sama loves her bag. But she loves you, loves you. So now we have something from her, and then we have the yarn from Allison. Yes. Well, mine's already been used up, so long gone. Mine's the brown, and I don't know what to knit with it. I will help you with that. So that is knitting in my, living in my lovely little Moira bag. And I did not work on the hitchhiker this week, so you won't see it. Sorry. But look what I took out. (laughs) Yeah, I saw it in the show notes, and I was like, ooh. I decided to add some of my recent minis to the blanket. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll be okay. So this, the last one you guys saw was this gray one, which was my, uh, my bittersweet Willery. Where's my book? There is my book. Sweetie, I have springtime. You told me it wasn't the same one. No, you told me it wasn't the no, same one. No, I, how would I know what's in your stash? I have springtime. Okay, fine. Then it's Sorry. the same one. <laughs> um, so anyway. <laughs> Don't mind us. We're here. This We're was there. left over from Selma's socks. Uh, this is um, Scrumptious Pearl Stripe Me Up in Driftwood. Stripe Me Up. I love it. This is a mini from Mandy. It is uh, Cuppy Cakes Yarn, Cuppy Cakes Yarn Yummy in If the Shoe Fits. She's so organized. I am. It's all written down. Uh, I don't need to look for the less dukes. They're mine. Uh, this was Juliana's fiber lucid dream socks in her prism colorway. Which Ooh, that is turned out really nice in a little square. The baby sweater. So just to show you how differently it knits up. That's how it knit up in the sweater. That's how it knit up in the square. And this is the leftover eco uh, baby, baby yarn from Dale Garn. Uh, in sand that I had left over from the baby sweaters. So I got a mini and Sue got a mini. I was going to say, I have the last mini? You have the only other mini. So I worked on my blanket, which is based on the um, Knitted Patchwork Recipe by Martine Ellis and Memory Blanket by Georgie Halam. Georgie Nick. Nicholson, Nicholson now. now. I'm sorry, jo- Georgie sorry, Nicholson. I, copied... I copy-pasted from an old, old episode. She mm-hmm. is Georgie Nicholson now. I'm sorry. I was going to say, I copy-pasted from what you gave me. I Please know. don't blame me. On size 2.75 <laughs> millimeter needles, which are US 2. That's all I've done. But hey, it came back. I don't know what I just knocked over. But Who knows? It's okay. It was yours. It's your corner over there. <laughs> yeah, so what's your stuff doing on my table? <laughs> I literally put a footstool there so she has somewhere to put her stuff. Because otherwise she drags it in front Are of her. Are working on those? No. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> those being my rainbow socks. <clears throat> Is that it? That's it. Wow. Huh. So do you want to do the giveaway? Woohoo! Um, okay, <laughs> I didn't, I'm not prepared for this. Sorry. Talk about something else and get we'll, we'll get ready. Yeah, we're getting ready, so... You talk about your shop. But I have to show stuff to talk about my shop. Go ahead. Okay. So I guess I'm showing you stuff. Stitch talk and yarn news. So I'm going to keep the yarn I dyed yesterday last, just to annoy you, Tanya. And I'm going to show a few bags that I've made up that are going to be going in the shop whenever I update everything at the same time. So, I don't have names for these new bags, um, but they're drawstring bags. And so this is like a mini. It's like the eyeball one that I showed you uh, the other day. Or, oh, I have the, the eyeball little one monster. here. The little monster. I have it here. I love that So, one. there's going to be a couple of these in the shop. And on the inside is just a nice yellow. This is the eyeball one. And the inside is the same as the outside. And oh, by the way, (laughs) funny story, laying in bed the other night and I had brought all the bags in the bedroom to show Sean. And I was like, what the heck is that light on my dresser? Glows in the dark. Oh my God. (laughs) Glows in the dark. That's awesome. Yeah. I was like that. And and, and the only part that was glowing was the end because that's what was sticking out. I was just, so that was like kind of awesome because I didn't know that. 
I made another small one out of these beautiful flowers. I love these. They have, um, these two don't have stiffeners in them. The rest will, but this one has stiffener from the bottom down, so it literally will, interfacing, sorry, so it'll liter literally stand up. And there's this one. Poop. And I'll keep going. So this one is a smaller, yeah, this one is just a tad smaller. It must have been my measuring. I don't know what I did but it's just a tad smaller and then this was the main one that I had made and Selma helped me tweak it because I don't know if you can tell but it kind of goes up in a slope it's tapered, this way yeah. it's tapered Greedy. and all of them can literally be folded over they'll stand up on their own into like a basket if you want this is one of my favorites Christmas, Christmassy, but not too Christmassy. I have more fabric. Turn it around. Okay. Look at the Bambi. So I it thought it literally looks like Bambi. It's an outline of Bambi. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was really cute, and I think I cut out more of this particular fabric. I have to admit, it's not even December yet, and I'm already all Christmas out. And then this one, <laughs> I fell in love with this fabric. Oh yes, Jen. Jen, are you looking? There's only one. <laughs> FYI. I think it's a little bit pastel-y for her. Probably. Um, so I've cut out more fabric and I have more fabric set aside to cut out. There's going to be more Christmas theme bags coming and then just some regular normal fabric bags coming. So yesterday we skeined up some yarn and the reason I say we <laughs> It's because I started doing it and I really don't have a setup for my Swift because I have to put my Swift sideways for it to roll this way to skein up easier because using a Nitty Knotty killed me last time. So one of the cones last time I did a Nitty Knotty and the other one I used the Swift, but it collapsed. I picked up the yarn gingerly. I set it on the table. I started doing it and then before I knew it, spaghetti. It was a mess. So I sent her a photo and she's like, do you need help? And I'm like, yes, please. So she spent the afternoon skeining yarn with me, which I really, really appreciate. I get a mini out of it. You do. So, want to see it? My colorways for this round are based on Marilyn Monroe movies, which I'm a huge Marilyn Monroe fan. And so... You're um, welcome for that suggestion, by the way. Yes, it was on my mind, but when you suggested, I was like, yeah, I got to do it. So the and first, I was not the only one who suggested it to her. <laughs> and so the first one, it's not exactly what I wanted it, but it's for the gentlemen prefer blondes, which her dress in that movie is a bright pink, and then the men are wearing black. And so creating black out of primary colors is not great. I'm going to have to buy some black, but it worked. So that's what it turned out to be lots of black and then it's like a grayish undertone at the at the bottom so that's gentlemen for fur blondes and I kind of took notes and pictures and stuff so I can probably closely recreate it but it won't be exactly the same well yeah all skeins are gonna be one of the kind and they're 410 sorry 110, 110 grams. grams thank you and then the other one is based on a movie called some like it hot and all the movie posters are different. And I found one that I liked that had these colors in them. There's like a yellow and orange, a red and a blue. And then whatever was mixed in the bottom of the pot made like a brownish color. So that's what that one looks like. And if you want to see it not skeined up, it's still a bit wet. And there's a little bit of white because one of the ties was too, it doesn't look tight, but it was a little too tight. So those are the two first ones. This evening I will be dyeing more. More. Yes, I'll be dyeing more. These were done in um, a large pot with water. And the other ones I'm going to be doing is more like a, a flat pan, maybe speckled. I'm not sure. So that's that. I've got labels for the yarn all made up black and white so I don't have to use any color 
So, hey. Do you have random.org up? I do, but I'm going to talk a little bit about my shop now. Oh, ha ha. Ha ha ha. Which is going to be opening very, very soon. I, I'm, I am aiming for December 1st, so I will try to get Rob on board with that. Um, I experimented a little bit this week. And I, I made some mistakes and I learned some things. So um, I'm going to be working on it again tonight. Um, I made these. They're beautiful. <laughs> and uh, I have some vintage button molds that I used. I will post pictures of these in the thread. The black um, one, I so love the, it. The, that's a basket weave pattern. Um, oh, you have a white one too. Yeah. Well, off -white. Oh yeah, they do bend. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that clay yeah. doesn't work, but I got a different kind of clay. So that's not one of the other vintage button molds that I bought. And I've got that sort of thing, little flowers, and this one. I've got a whole bunch of different sizes and patterns. This is one of my favorites. Oh yeah. Because it looks like it's sewn on. But I, I will post the picture that I, I sent the Facebook chat last night uh, to show all the different molds I've got and stuff. Post it in the show notes? Yeah, that's what I meant. And so those, these are polymer clay. Um, this particular brand of clay I bought was not very good. And I actually looked up reviews afterwards and they said, this, yarn, this, this clay doesn't cure properly. Uh, it never hardens all the way, so I can still bend the buttons. But it's so, a good thing to learn from. Yeah, I mean, I practiced with it, and I played with it, and I learned some things. So now I'm going to try with a higher quality. No, I already have everything set up. Oh, I'm sorry. Everything's all set up. We're done. Yeah, I'm so, just going to like be over here in the corner. <laughs> I was opening. Um, my wooden buttons won't be ready for the first couple of shop updates. Uh, I'm still working on ob obtaining the tools I need to be able to make them. Because uh, I have all the tools at Rob's house, but I don't live there. And you have a lot of wood in your house. I, I <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even seen them. No, I haven't. I just <laughs> your explanation was enough. I have a large cardboard box next to my freezer, and there are a whole bunch of really long branches sticking out of it. And the other day, my daughter walked into the house and went, "Mom, why is there a tree in the dining?" <laughs> well, Rob and I had gone for a walk in Gatineau Park. Uh, well, when he was here for um, my cousin's wedding. And I picked up a whole bunch of oranges as we were walking. When we went for a walk in the woods in Vermont, I had to promise I wasn't going to pick up any branches. Lady, why are you bringing branches over because the border? Because that's the first thing they would totally not let you bring across the border. So, um, we're aiming for December 1st to open up Schwarzcraft and on Etsy. So, um, we will let you Rob know of that. Well, I'm going to try and get him on board for that because th what we're waiting for, honestly, is the logo. Yeah. And we got to print up business cards and that sort of thing. I mean, so. the logo can come after. Yeah, but I kind of want the shop header to be there yeah. when we open the shop. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we will work on that. And now we can do our giveaway because I already went and looked to see how many posts there were. And I have that open on another tab. Oh, look at you. So the giveaway is this <laughs> ebook pattern which is Rios Rocks Volume 1. It's all hats, and it's by Jillian Harkness, who is MinaLovesDesigns.com. I love the, I love them. They're okay, so I want to make the red one. So I'm just going to show you all the hats. I kind of want to make all of them. In one photo. So those are, that's what you're going to win. And so I locked the thread this morning because I totally forgot to do it. And she gifted us the patterns as well. Yes. So thank you thank you very much. So now we're going to do the draw. There were 48 posts, so it's t number 2 to 48. And how do we get rid of the keyboard? Back these. Okay, thank you. So we've got numbers 2 to 48. So we're going to hit generate. 15 is the winner. So give me one second. Mm -hmm. We don't normally do this live anymore. <laughs> no. Well, we usually have more than one thing to draw. So yep. 15 is... I can't read that. Nope. nope. That that totally did not okay, work. Hang on. Stop, 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 stop. What just happened? I don't know what you just did, but... <sighs> I was trying to make it bigger because on my phone that works. It does, but you were too close to the side. 
Um, number 15 is Ruthie Noemi. What am I looking? Number um, 15, it's the one with no picture. Yeah, Ruthie Noemi. Okay. Uh, and she said she would wear it all the time to work Aaron's kids' activities. It gets cold where I live, and hats are great in the winter. Mm-hmm. So, Ruthie, you, and uh, just a sec, let's actually go to her profile and make sure that's her name. No name. There's no name. She lives in New Jersey. That's well, all I know about her. So you have Congratulations. one. And I will contact Jillian, and she will gift you the pattern. Way to go, New Jersey. Awesome. Here you go. Thank you. Um... Stash. Flash the stash. You yes. go first. No, no, go. I, I can stash. tell. I can <laughs> tell. Um, I'll start with the stuff I didn't buy. <laughs> Sue was going through her stash. I will try to find one that's still steamed up. And gave me four skeins of this lovely stuff. This is Barocco Weekend, which is a cotton acrylic blend. It's so soft and squishy. I'm not going to put it on my face because I know there's dog on this. I I might (laughs) have another one, but I'll look. It's so squishy. As she puts it on her face. I know, but I can't resist. Besides, I picked most of the dog off of it. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, disclaimer, yarn, cats and dogs. Yes. Um, So anyway, Sue gave me four skeins of this, and it is shade number 5931. I haven't put it in RAV yet, so I don't know what it's actually called. So I have four of those, and one of them's in my car. I went to Vermont last weekend. Rob and I went and had a nice weekend in Vermont. Uh, We met up with Mandy and Michael. Yes, I know I'm crinkly. I went here, because I went here. You're so close to the bike. I went there. So I'm very excited. And this is actually Mandy's bag. She gave me a bunch of stuff. So she gave me some chow goo needles, which I'm very excited about, because I love chow goo. She gave me this little baggie of Devon wool. It looks like hair. It looks like human hair. It, it looks so, like, it's very long, staple length, and very smooth, and, like, no crimp to it at all. Ooh. It looks like hair. It feels like hair. I know! I'm going to blend it with other things. Yeah. But I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. Because it's, it's a breed I didn't have. Stop making my bag fart. <laughs> Jeez, one. Um... Mandy bought me these. Those are beautiful. These are stunning. They are roll eggs from the Woolly Witch, who is from Lord Only Knows. It's from Lord Only Knows. Uh, I don't know where she where she's from, but it's called Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And oh yes, it is. Uh, it is 19 micron merino, 21.5 micron merino. Corridale and Firestar. Oh, nice. Sorry, I just keep taking things out of her hand. So pretty. Don't mess with my roll eggs, woman. I'm not. Hi. I fondle the. (laughs) I fondle. So that that was my birthday present from Mandy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That one didn't fart. Um, and of course I've got teas in here. I've got Queen of Tart. I've got Maple Sugar. I've got Birthday Cake. I've got watermelon and she gave me some other little teas i've got raspberry red herbal tea would you like one of those okay (laughs) and i got a french vanilla chai those are good and i got some minis oh sparkly they're sparkly and they're so nice are those cuppy cake the bright one uh no i don't think it is i think that's she told me what it was and I've forgotten. Um, anyway, th- these are lovely minis that Mandy gave me. Mm-hmm. And she will explain what they are to me again. I have this adorable little progress keeper. Oh my lord! <laughs> and he's rubber, so he's picked up all kinds of hair and stuff. He's really the teddy bear. And he's squishy. You'll have to take a close up of that. He's squishy. <laughs> Is he? Oh, jeez! He's squishy. Is it like the Haya Haya Bears? I don't know. But he's a little hes a little progress keeper. It's like, a, did she make this? I don't know. It's adorable. Maybe. Probably not. Mm-hmm. It's cute. It didn't occur it's to Lynn. me. It's And I got this cute little handmade glycerin soap as well. So. That you can use. Yes, that I can use because it's not scented. Ah. <laughs> so that's my, my Prezi from Mandy. 
And I brought her a spinning wheel from Tanya and some fiber. The the pink fiber that I bought at Twist ended up going yep, handy. She's going to join the spinning crazy. Yes. It's a nice wheel. It, it's a very nice wheel. Yeah. It's a, it's a beginner's wheel. It's mm. a it's a very basic, Maybe not too complicated. Maybe it needs to come and live with me for a little while later. You have a wheel. I know, but I still want to try a bigger wheel. No. Shush. No. 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 Yes. You don't have room. <laughs> that's You're why funny. you got rid of the big wheel. No, that's not why I got rid of it. I know. That's not why you got rid of the big wheel. It was huge. And where did I put my other? Oh, there it is. Cause Organized. I, I did go to my slum yard. And that's her bag. Okay, to be fair, I bought this at Michael's down the street. This is my will like. I bought the, the charcoal as my contrasting heel and toe. But when I went to um, Must Love Yarn, <gasps> fiber stash. Fiber stash worsted. It's beautiful. And they can make fun of us for our money smelling like maple syrup all they want. It's not bad. Does that not smell like maple syrup? Yes. What the hell, guys? <laughs> Our money does not actually smell like maple syrup, but this yarn does. So this is um, Fiber Stash Superwash Merino Worsted in Berry Crush, and it is gorgeous, and it's going to be a hat, and it's going to be mine. Maybe. If it but you're not making matching mitts, because I know you want to make mitts. No, my mitts are going to be orange. <laughs> hey, those two colors go. And then these were by the cash register. This is Cast Off Chemo Fun the Cure from Wool to Die For, and it's Honeysuckle. And I think they were saying that $5, and there's onion skin in it, I think they were saying that $5 goes to uh, Fun Cancer Research from each skein sold. And it is lovely, sort of reddish pink yeah. um, sock yarn. I see. I like the way they packaged it. Mm-hmm. I have to be careful when I put a layer. Because I don't know that it's attached anywhere. Like to, you have to keep wool it. to die for. I do. It's kind of awesome. I know. And, oh, yeah, there's a tie there. So Yeah, it's I just. Should, should it's in a skein. It's just the way they folded it. Yeah, it it's, not, um, it's not twisted. No. Because all, all the strands are straight. So. Mm -hmm. so that's what I bought. All awesome. pink. Mandy was proud of me. <laughs> This is a bluish pink. This is a reddish pink. But they're both pink. See, that seems almost purple to me. Almost. Mm -hmm. But not. There is blue in it, because there's a couple of spots where you see uh, slightly bluer. Like, yeah, like right yeah. there, you can mm -hmm. see a little bit of the blue. But uh, the one is definitely a bluish pink, and one is a reddish pink. But they're both pink, and I love them. And that's all I got. I got stuff from there, too. <laughs> so Mandy sent me a little... A baggie. A good bag. Because the red little baggies are from Mandy. Usually. So. She's got tea too. I've got tea. I've got you cream got of tarts. I got I watermelon. Did. Except for the birthday cake. That was mine. Yeah. Uh, and maple sugar. I know. You can <gasps> smell that one. And she gave me some pumpkin spice lint chocolates. And they're so good. What's this other one? Watermelon. And then these two little minis, which I think you got the same ones. Yeah. There's only, you didn't get the sparkly one. Nope. Sorry. Don't be sorry. I'm not. <sighs> it's a thing you say to be polite. Mm-hmm. So, put that away. And then Michael sent me a couple of things, because Michael's Michael and we're minion friends at heart. So he sent me this little container. Speaking of minions. They have the 16-month calendars out at Michael's. I need a new calendar. I got sent one last time. So, you know, because there's Kevin. My Kevin. And then he posted this in our chat group. It's a huge minion pencil. Which with gonna, a pencil with sharpener. a sharpener attached. And um, I'm going to bring it to work. I really am. I have minion. I have Tanya's water bottle and the minion she crocheted me at work. People know. People know. And then he posted something, and I was like, "I have to have that. I have to have that." He actually sent it to me. I thought he was joking, but he wasn't. It's minion Christmas fabric. Isn't it awesome? That's not going in the shop. 
<laughs> for anybody who just got excited, that's well, not okay. going in the shop. I want to make myself a large sweater bag, a zippered bag. If there's any left over, you might get lucky. You might get lucky. But don't bet on it. No, because I haven't put any of my minion fabric in Because you're going to have to make yourself a matching needle keeper. Well, of course. With and these a matching guys. little well, yeah, notion stuff. Everything, you know. That's not going in the shop. But none of my other minion fabric has gone in the shop, so mm, they're mine. And I forgot, I think, the bestest thing that came back from Vermont with me. Oh, I made sure I brought it in. So that I is amazing. I love it so, oh, so much. It's Mandy like, cross-stitched this for me. And you, if you have any idea, Lynn loves pumpkins. I love pumpkins. I love fall. And this is and I, gorgeous. And she mounted it for you. She did. And this is my Christmas present. This <laughs> is amazing. Amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Little things mean so much. She let me pick it, too. I, it was from the uh, the Halloween. Okay. The Halloween issue. It just looks cross fall, though. And um, she let me pick it. She was like, there's these three. Which one do you want? And I'm like, that one. Mm -hmm. And she's like, okay. So she was like, well, you know, it'd be weird to mail you a Christmas present because you come over on a regular basis. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Christmas came early. So we had a lot of fun. We hung out with her and her husband, Scott, and Michael from the Game Nader podcast. Uh, we went to dinner, and then we went and hung out in downtown Burlington, which was super fun. Uh, we went to the original Ben & Jerry store, because mm -hmm. we're in Burlington, Vermont. <laughs> you can't go to Vermont and not go to Ben & Jerry's. I didn't know that's where it was, so yes, good to know. Yes, that's where they're from. And um, Rob and I went hiking. It was kind of funny, because the, it's a resort area which all with a lot of hiking trails, and we didn't realize this, but the road to the resort, like, past the resort closed on November 1st. So we get there, and we're like, what do we do now? <laughs> and there was a bunch of cars parked along the side of the road, so we parked two, and off we went, up the mountain, by foot. <laughs> Does it rival on the foot. Rhinebeck? What do you mean? Does it rival the Rhinebeck? It's, it's beautiful. Hike? It's, it's, uh, no, well, I no, 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 we, we were, uh, no, we were on a paved road because okay. we never actually made it as far as the hiking oh, trail. The, it was another five miles That's the, the picture that you said. You yeah. Rob. Okay. We were in the clouds. That was awesome. We were in the clouds and it was wet, but it wasn't raining. Like everything was wet, but it wasn't you're raining like close at all. to the clouds. So, Maybe. uh, we got lucky. We didn't get rained on, but, uh, it was beautiful, beautiful country and it's very damp there. So there's moss on everything. <laughs> It's like England, because England is like that too. When I went in January, um, several years ago, but I was going to say, England, wait, what? I went to England in January. There were roses growing in people's front gardens. I mean, it was not cold. January second, yeah. I hate you people. <laughs> it's like BC January but, uh, spring. Anyway, so thank you, thank you, thank you, Mandy. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it's going, I think it's going to go in my kitchen right above my sink so I can have something for you to look at when I do dishes. Yes, because you don't have a window. Um, I forgot a couple little things to show in my stash because, as Lynn mentioned, I got two minis, the grunge and the, brand, the beige. And yesterday she brought over witch's brew tea and we brewed some up and had some. I put the rest in the fridge. We'll see how that works out. And she brought me a tin. One of the, our... our... I don't want to call her our intern. I don't know what to call her. Anyway, this uh, this girl we hired um, as a student. She's a student. Yeah. Um, she is a knitter. I can't remember what her name is on Rav. But oh, anyway, wow. she's a knitter. She recognized Lynn. Yeah, she recognized my, my face from my, my Ravatar. And <laughs> she was like, I know you. You're from Ravelry. And I'm like, yes, yes, I am. So win win. Um, <laughs> we uh we've been hanging out a little bit and she's a big tea fan. So she bought the bat mug at David's tea and it came with a bag of witch's brew and she wasn't crazy about it. So I was like, Why well, could trade ya? <laughs> so she gave me the tea. So she came over with the bag, let me brew some and now she gave me a little more and that's all I'm gonna get. <laughs> yep. The rest is mine. And I Man did. Mandy and Michael and I went to David's tea as well. Okay. Well I did get some tea that I haven't shown. I bought a blueberry muffin, quince, quince charming, charming, and pumpkin spice. Quince charming is one of my favorites. I, I bought a big tin of pumpkin chai while well, I was in the store. I wanted to order some tea for my husband because he's been out for a while, and he likes the dragon pearl tea. I have more green that he might like. Okay. 
I'll bring Anyways, and then there was this other kind. I'm like, we're not just going to get you one tin. I'm going to get you two 50 gram, well, not tins, but two 50 gram bags. So you at least have some. And I think I'm going to order some for his birthday. I mean, Christmas. Christmas. His birthday's in July. Christmas in July. So uh, we have coupon codes. Yep. Bags by Austin Grammy, Granny. Has, <laughs> I, I'm okay. Grammy? I'm I'm having a hard time this morning. So I've, been, I've been, been starting a headache since I got here. So it's, and now it's good you're not mentioning yeah. the other one. So, Bags by Awesome Granny has an ongoing coupon code for 10% off, and it is the number 2 TS10. Six munchkin stitching. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh at me, will you? That's karma. <laughs> Six Munchkin Stitching has an ongoing coupon code for 10% off, and it's spelled out two tangled one zero. <laughs> That'll probably be the caption, That's or it. I can make it the caption. Okay. That's what you get for making fun of me. Oh, well. Mm. I'm in her debt after yesterday, and I'm always in her debt. I think we're pretty even at this point. <laughs> Yeah, so I want to get this converting, uploading, and then I'm heading over to one of the yarn shops in Ottawa because they have Jacquard dyes, and I want to see what they have. I want to get a couple more because I just have primary colors. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. I was like, you know those dyes you have? Would you consider? And she was like, sure. Because I've never even opened the containers. I bought them in 2008 when we did a dyeing workshop at Log Cabin Yarns, which no longer exists. Mm -hmm. And I never opened them. And then you don't use a lot, so if they're going to last. They're a good staple. But when I mixed everything together to make black, it doesn't make a no, true black. No, you need, a, you need black. That's why they're, it didn't turn out as good. But there are some, it's kind of brownish almost, but it looks black. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they're still wet. I have to, oh, I did the shower coat thing. Because she's so smart. It just seemed like an intelligent way to do you know, it to me. Get some shower hooks, hang them on the inside of your shower curtain so they drip and down. The and the shower curtain is inside the tub, so anything that drips just drips right down the shower curtain and into the tub. Seemed like a smart idea to me. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, when I woke up this morning, just the bottom was a little bit wet because, of course, the water drains. So, Cool. Yep. On to the next movie theme. Poster. Co poster colorways. Done? Yep. Done. I'm done. Done, done. My head hurts. I'm done. Do you have a <laughs> printed copy of this? No. There you go. Thank you. She looks so sad. But she's not. The other... <laughs> she looks sad in all of them. I think she's just staring at something. Yeah. Like that's the only one she's looking at us. And sorry, we're babbling, so... <laughs> yeah. We're going to go. Thank you, Jenny. Happy crafting, and we will see you all next week. Bye.